morning everybody welcome back to trinity dairy don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and uh if you want to get some of this trinity dairy merchandise we got t-shirts hoodies caps um we'll have a link in the description down below for the online store for that so you can check that out anyway today it's september 1st today a uh, beautiful day sun shining nice temperature um we've been getting some rain so that's been good um really green things up a lot as you can see it's a lot of this was all burnt right off not that long ago even our lawn is uh getting around the junk pile here the lawn's even a lot better this whole lawn was all just burnt right off so i think over the last week week and a half we've gotten i don't know i haven't been adding them up but three inches probably at least so uh, so that's been good it sounds like some more on the way um and we did if any of you follow the millennial farmer at all i know they had a lot of corn damage um from wind and stuff there was a storm that came through and we did get that same storm we got a bunch of rain out of but we did not get the wind so um our corn and stuff is all right from that but i'm sure uh I know those guys, they had a lot of damage in certain places. They were calling for two inch hail here, but luckily we didn't get it. But, um, so some prayers out to them guys, cause that's, that's not good when you lose a whole crops like that, flattened down. But anyway, what we're working on now, we're gonna start chopping corn here pretty quick. Boy, I'm getting the shadow here. So we got the chopper in the garage here. Um, I pulled it in yesterday. Uh, pulled the hay head off. I got the hay head over there. Me and Paul got the corn head on last night. Um, greased it all up. I just got to raise the head and grease the bottom gears down there. And then I'm going to go through, uh, torque the knives again, check the torque on the knives and the cutter bar. So we hopefully don't have that fiasco again of uh, taking the knives out. And then I got to flip the spout up and stuff. So. So hopefully we'll start chopping here in the next week or so. The corn is, it's ready. Um, normally it's probably a little bit early for us to start chopping here, but the corn being we got so dry, it's uh, the rain, it's not recovering anymore. It's pretty much is what it is. So there's another farm around here that they started chopping too for, they pile, so they needed a little bit wetter, but I think theirs was running about their dryer stuff was about 65%, I think, so. So anyway, it's time to get rolling on that. So try to get this chopper finished today. Pull the chopper boxes up and get them ready. Um, then I'm gonna get Johnny's bagger again. I think we're gonna probably bag everything. Um, the silo by the barn is still full, so uh, we can't put anything in there, obviously. The one out in the pasture is just about empty, but We'll see how it goes. We'll make one bag and see what we got left. But anyway, so I'm gonna work on this chopper now and get that finished up. I gotta clean my windshield. Dirty.
we got that hooked up. Got the hydraulic hoses the right way the first time. So that was good. I should probably label them. So anyway, now I just got to oil the chains and uh, finish greasing the head. And then I'll have to get Jen or somebody down here to help me uh, flip this back up in place. I just drop it down so I can get it in the shed. And then we'll check the knives and bar and this should be ready to go. I guess I got to sharpen them. And we'll move on to the wagons. All right, well, it's getting the evening time here now. We got chores pretty much finished up. Paul's just feeding some silage up in the bunk, and then I got to let the cows out. So we'll be wrapping it up for the day. Um, I did get the chopper. I got it pulled out of the shed here. I got the head greased, chains oiled, all the chains in the chopper oiled. Jen helped me get the spout folded back up in place. Um, so that's ready. I did go through and check the torque on all the knife bolts again and the cutter bar. Um, so yeah, it should be pretty much ready. I just, I was going to run the stone over the knives tonight, but I kind of ran out of time. So I'll do that tomorrow and set the cutter bar. Uh, set the cutter bar up and this should be ready. So uh, I don't think, it's supposed to be kind of cloudy tomorrow, but I don't think they're talking any rain. So get that done with. And then I'll probably start pulling boxes up, getting those ready. Um, then I got to get the slab ready for the bag, get that some machinery moved off it, and get the fence down around it. So, uh, then talk to Johnny, see if I can get the bagger, and we should be ready to go. Um, I know they're talking some rain Friday, which rain doesn't really affect anything anyway, um, other than the break on the bagger. You don't want to get wet, but uh, so it'll be couple days yet but we'll we'll get rolling here it shouldn't be too long so anyway i'm gonna go let the cows out and we'll catch you guys tomorrow hey everybody thursday september 2nd today got the chopper finished up this morning sharpened that um got the chopper boxes up here now or one of them anyway um so we got the maintenance crew on it here they're gonna grease everything they can reach and i'll grease the rest check over all the tires and everything oil the chains and uh, should be good to go. Hey, Dad. Yeah. How many pumps each time we pull the trigger? Uh, you, on this one, you can just go till you see grease start coming out around the. All right. Everything in We got on? um, for those of you if you're new to the channel, um, you can look back on old videos of chopping. Otherwise, our wagons. We got two. These are 950 Badger. This is a 14 foot. The other one's a 16 foot, and then I've got a. That's an old Load King wagon that we use. I actually have two of them, but the one I need to put it back in. Um, these have been really good wagons. The, you'll notice the roof on both of these Badgers is slid back. Um, the reason that those are like that was years ago, my grandpa used to do high moisture corn, ear corn. He had a grinder attachment for the picker and we had to slide the tin back in order for that auger to go into the boxes. Um, well, with it being slid back, it moved around, it got bent up, and uh, it just, it's not long enough anymore to slide back forward. So I need to get new tin on these, but um, that's why they're slid back. Um, as far as the floors and stuff for rotting, um, we oil these pretty heavy, so the floor's pretty well treated, so. But I still would like to get uh, get new tin on there. It just looks better, if nothing else. And it does help protect it some. But anyway, so we're going to uh, get to the maintenance on this and get this one done. Could you see you my chain? Oh, yeah. You want to video your chain? We got it all oiled up this morning. It's not getting dusty. Yep. It's all oiled up now.
There's okay. one there and there's one like that on the other side. Okay. And then you'll have to go around to the front. This one doesn't have any on these. Okay. Um, I think there's one, I don't know where the tongue hooks up, but one on each side of there. Alright, Jordan. Okay. Jordan, did you need the grease rag? Where is it? Jordan. Ready? Nope. Yeah, I think that thing that took Hold it up, I think that goes around and around. Mm -hmm. Okay, try it. I think this goes around. Ready? Um, yep. Mommy, I think this goes around. The fast. Come on. I really feel like that wasn't me. This is a biter rib. Try it again. Mom, I can see the grippers go all the way to the back. Come in. Okay, now try it. I got snapped on. Good. Yeah? If I can get that off. All right. Oh, to the other one. Where's the grease rag? Put it all the way in. There you go. Good. One more. Good? One more. Okay, that's good. Thank you. Where are you going? Here, hold that. Don't touch the end of it, it'll be greasy. I don't. I'll, I won't drop it in the dirt. Good. Thank you, sir. You're welcome.